Today we have a monthly maintenance and we're so grateful to have the help of University of Hawaii at Hilo uh, students from Dr. O's class, the Sociology Club. We've got some high school students from Kamehameha also and we're um, mucking the pond, we're pulling out uh, large branches that have been in the pond for a while, raking grass, pulling weeds, scrubbing graffiti off the red bridge, those kinds of chores. 2017 is the first year of a three-year celebration of the centennial of this garden. So we're working along three paths, maintenance, capital improvement, and centennial events. The first event in 2017 was the Banyan Drive Art Stroll, and that involved Suisan, the garden, Banyan Gallery, um, Hilo Hawaiian, and the Nani Loa. So people were moving around during the day, all day long, carrying their map and schedule of different events from Kyotaku over at Suisan to plein air painting here in the garden to some exhibits, including a People's Choice Award at one of the exhibits down at Nani Loa. And I am a Gyotaku fish printing artist. Brandon Tangan, who is from Honolulu, has a real love of the ocean, chanced into Gyotaku. He rinsed off clean. So Suisan provided me this wonderful fish. This is a yellow spot papil. It's a pretty good size one. It's like maybe at least five or six pounds. Um, so I'll be printing this for you guys today. I did one earlier. And basically you just cover the whole fish from head to tail. You just kind of want to lay the ink on. It's a way of remembering your catch. I'm kind of generous about it too because you'll see in the next step that majority of it just comes right back off. And not having to have an argument about how big that fish was because you've got an actual print of the fish. So at this point, all the ink has been painted on, but I'm just taking a rag here and dabbing it off. Um, it's an imprinting art, and what you're doing is removing all of the brush strokes. To make it, to give it that more authentic look, again, you only really get one shot at this, but you lay the paper over, and this is where the tricky part starts, okay? So this is where the actual imprinting takes place. You want to make sure to get the different portions of the fish by the head, the mouth. When you peel it back, you should be left with the print. Does it look okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. We are, are really enthusiastic about the future. Um, this garden historically has been the crown jewel, which was what they called it a hundred years ago in newspaper articles, the crown jewel at the entryway to the Crescent City. We know how important a park, uh, especially one of this substantial size, is to our residents and to our visitors. So we're looking forward to what will come in the future with the economic development zone that Senator Kahele has brought to the fore. Um, Banyan Drive Redevelopment Agency is continuing to work. They have not met for a while, but they will be meeting later on this month, February. I think it's the 22nd is their next meeting.